Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is Timpedia and welcome to an unfortunate session of Empire Earth, The Art of Conquest. Uh, my audio randomly died, uh, and I didn't notice last session, so not, not one that you guys have seen. But I finished the Roman campaign, did two missions of the Pacific campaign, but now I have to replay them. However, hopefully that means I will be much quicker. Although Pompey had been defeated, Caesar knew that while he still lived, he would remain a threat to the new dictator's power in Rome. So, Caesar quickly embarked as many troops as possible and sailed off in pursuit of his enemy to Egypt. Disembarking at Alexandria, Caesar found a city in turmoil. The people were starving and close to rioting. Two ruling factions, Ptolemy and his sister Cleopatra, were locked in a bitter dispute over the rightful rule of Egypt. Cleopatra controlled the city itself, while Ptolemy held sway over most of the countryside. Caesar and his legions were about to find themselves in the middle of a civil war. Forming up his men, Caesar decided to immediately march on the royal palace and seize both rulers and force them to surrender Pompey. Only then would he look to the issue of helping to solve Egypt's troubles. Alexandria, Egypt, 48 BC. Great Caesar, Ptolemy sends greetings and hopes you will soon join him to discuss Egypt's future in the new Imperial Rome. As a token of his esteem and respect, he has asked me to deliver the head of Pompey, a former enemy of Egypt's present friend. Queen Cleopatra also sends her regards, mighty Caesar, and eagerly anticipates the moment you will meet to discuss how Egypt and Rome can ensure each other's prosperity and security. She offers the hospitality of Alexandria and warns of the treachery of our brother Ptolemy. Because Alexandria is all she can offer. The whole of Egypt stands behind Ptolemy Caesar, not this upstart girl. This city's misguided politics shall soon be rectified. All of Egypt is under Ptolemy's heel, is what you mean. The people despise him, great Caesar, and everyone supports the rightful ruler, Cleopatra, in their hearts. So, uh, actually... I have seen Pompey's forces destroyed, and his head is at my feet. Therefore, my objectives are complete. As for Egypt's troubles, <laughs> I cannot decide what the proper course of action should be. It has been a long voyage, and I am weary from campaigning. I shall let my pets decide. Romulus, Remus, which of these envoys would you like to eat? To the other we shall give aid. Alrighty, so the final mission of Rome has us in Egypt, and we are try we have to decide if we're going to side with Ptolemy or if we're gonna side with Cleopatra. And like they said, Cleopatra sits in uh, Alexandria itself, and then she has this little random outpost of nothingness. Ptolemy controls most of the bulk of Egypt. So, we are going to do what I did last time, which is join Ptolemy. Because, when you play as Cleopatra, you have to defend the city from respawning waves of enemies coming through all three gates. Also, you can see they have a bunch of forces. Um, and you have to go destroy these outposts that are insanely far away. And your reinforcement points are either here or here. So it takes a hot second. Now, if you side with Ptolemy, which is what we're going to do, then it gets tough because a bunch of units are going to spawn and we have to get the hell out of the city. But what we can do is we can take Caesar and bring him over to a gate. It's going to be this one. And he can gain control of the gate. And then we can let in Ptolemy's forces. Um, it took about 45 minutes to beat this one mission yesterday when my failed session happened. Um... This is a tough one. This is a real struggle. There there are a lot of units, but if once we join Ptolemy, we have to capture the towns, two town centers and a capital. Um it's tough. All right. So so select the envoy who we are opposing and the tigers will decide. And then grab everyone. Shit, shit, shit. Go, 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 go. All right. So this is all group 1 for now. Yep, we're definitely going to be attacked a lot. We actually control the tigers for a second, which is neat. At your service, 
All right, they killed Ptolemy's guy, which is fine. All right, the Legionnaires are going to cover us with some pylum throws, and then continue. So as you can see, Ptolemy immediately launches his assault. We want to let him in as soon as humanly possible. We have to select the gate once Caesar's... Okay, cool, it's open. I'm gonna. I'm just going to kill the gate so that we can keep everything... Okay. All right, so as you can see, there are a lot of fucking guys coming at us. But what we're not going to do like I did last time... Last time, I ran away. I actually ran from this fight. Uh, and Ptolemy's forces got crushed. What I actually want to do... Where are these... Oh my god. We're definitely going to lose a bunch of guys, but... I need my I need my centurions to battle cry. Did I lose a centurion? I fucking hope not. All right, regather our forces. We're getting a little too spread out. The tigers are also doing whatever they want. So this is definitely the more aggressive way to do this than I did last time. All right, can you like rejoin the forces? Like we're trying to secure this ent entrance to the city. So the thing is, last time when I did this, I ended up running away and hiding at Ptolemy's central base. But I sustained so many losses along the way, I realized it's probably just better to stay on the aggressive and stick with Ptolemy's troops. So this might lead to a very fast conclusion of this episode. Now, unfortunately, I'm not there to defend Ptolemy's southern base. But he should be okay. Now, the nice thing is that because Alexandria itself is neutral, we can actually use these hospitals. All right, hold on. So let's let's regather the men. Caesar, go attack the tower so that we can clear this tower, clear this tower, and then clear out the town center. And if we're really lucky, we can do that before the next wave of Cleopatra's reinforcements spawn, which would be amazing. Please don't attack the tiger. So the tigers can't heal because they're beat. Oh, he's gonna kill the tiger. What an asshole. You gonna kill the other tiger? Nope. Great. Excellent work. Alright, just kill him. Now, what you have to do to capture these is just attack them, and then after a few seconds, they'll be like, oh, fine, we'll join you. And there we go. We captured a town center. So now I don't know if that directly stops Cleopatra's reinforcements from spawning. You guys will know when that happens. Oh wow, they're being stupid. Actually no, switch to switch to attacking this way. Oh no, the other tiger. I just, I want to give my guys orders so that they all head over here. Alright, now we're going to try to go heal for a second. So, my, honestly, I haven't lost that many more troops than I lost when I just ran out of the city. So this was definitely the smarter play. So as you can see, there's still a fuck ton of troops over here. So it looks like Ptolemy doesn't have much left. But we just need to give them time to... Where are you going? Just everybody who's injured should be healing. Try to get a little closer. Alright, fine. Go on the back side. Sure. So we're going to try to heal up for just a minute. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to go finish off this tower, this tower, and these four towers... That will mean that we can land our reinforcements directly inside the city instead of having them outside the city. Where Cleopatra still has forces kind of roaming around. They look like they actually might be coming into the city. Looks like they're heading towards the capital, so they might just ignore my guys since we're all healing. Oh, Ptolemy's still roaming around. Cool. Cool. 
Nice, they might even damage that tower for us. I mean, those are guys are probably all gonna die, but. All right, this is awesome. So, we have one Centur- Oh no, both Centurions survived, fantastic. That's even better. All right, you guys are group one, group two, and group three. Now we've divided everything up. All right, so Caesar and the Cataphracts are done. Some of the infantry are still healing, the pylums are not. All right, so let's start regathering the men. We're just healing one Centurion up, but they're such badasses that it's worth waiting. All right, either way though, we can go help these guys. All right. Let's kill off these towers, because it shouldn't be too much longer before our reinforcements arrive. As, oh, for fuck's sake. God damn it. Well, Cleopatra's reinforcements spawned before Ptolemy's, and now they're attacking. Where's the other... Neither of them are quite... Yep. God damn it, that's fucking lame! It's because her reinforcements have already spawned. Alright, there's my reinforcements. Yeah, they can go to those two places. Oh my god. And now we're suffering titanic fucking losses. Battle cry. Alright, can we like regather the lines just really quickly? See, here's Ptolemy had some respawn as well. Not much, of course. Because why, right? Ugh. Alright, where's my Centurions? They can't die. They, I need them alive. They are extremely useful. They are strong, and I don't get any of them on my reinforcement ships. Oh my god, I'm like down to three fucking legionnaires and two of them are about to die. And of course, because I sided with Ptolemy, he gets way less reinforcements than Cleopatra because, you know, why not? Good, keep attacking Caesar, I don't care. Alright, can we... Oh my god, we need to fucking... We're down to, like, half a dozen. We're, like, down to a dozen dudes. All right, Caesar, cover their... Oh, for fuck's sake. Look at how many fucking units are still showing up. This is such frustrating bullshit. Oh, good. Ptolemy sent five guys. All right, now we really need to get our reinforcements. We need to we need to set that up before we worry about anything else. Oh my god, did he just kill one of my dudes? He sure did. All right. We half 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 to Oh my god, and all of these guys are probably going to die to these fucking elephants. Whatever. Useless idiot. Fucking Ptolemy. So this really isn't going any better than it was. Alright, these guys are gonna... I can't even move in because Cleopatra actually has... Where are you guys going? Oh. I'm sure there's a... Oh, right, the trees are in the way. Alright, Caesar, go kill this one. Alright, start sending in the reinforcements. Because there's actually an Egyptian battleship, like a Cleopatra battleship that hangs around. This is actually more losses than I sustained at any point in the other mission, but I never left the city. Up, oh, see, there it is. Get away from Caesar! Oh my 
my god. Please get away from Caesar! Fucking dumb dumb. Can we just retreat to the hospital, please? Oh, he's just he's moving. Oh, for fuck's sake! Caesar is actually almost dead. Hold on, Centurion. Thank God. All right, we're finally gonna have some reinforcements. So we're not fighting with like five freaking dudes anymore. One, two, three. Fantastic. Who will lose him? Thankfully, Caesar can get healed by the hospital. All right, and now we don't have to worry about landing future reinforcements either. Oh my god, look how hurt I am. At your service, at your service, tribute. Where Ready should I go? Alright, the pylons are getting healed. Caesar and his cataphract. Beanie, beanie, beanie. Is this guy getting healed? Yes, good. Fuck! At your Ready, my lord. At your oh my god! Fucking kill him. Now, I wish to God the pylums would shoot through, guys. Oh, for fuck's sake. Seriously? Yep, here comes another Cleopatra counterattack. Oh my god. Can't get half a fucking second of peace. All right, you know what? Let's recapture this. Well, we have a microsecond before Cleopatra's billions of troops show up. Oh, yep, here they are. Right on fucking time. God, I wish those pylums would actually go through people. Oh look, Ptolemy's five Egyptian warriors showed up. God, this isn't going much faster than my other one. Well, I'm suffering greater losses. Alright, let's let Ptolemy kind of mess around with these guys, huh? Where should I go? <sighs> okay. With all my heart. At your service, tribute. Alright, we're trying to separate out the guys who are in groups and the few who aren't. Alright, these guys are all group two. two victory. That's group three. Alright, these are our groups. With all my heart. Is there another hospital anywhere? No, of course not. Why would there be? All right, we killed off a bunch of Cleo's stuff, so Ptolemy can come in. Oh my god, Caesar, please. Get, like, actually against the hospital, please. Where should I go? With all my heart. Oh my god, seriously. Oh my god, the legions are so... Yes! Fantastic. This might be enough by the time they get here, along with the healing. This might be enough to actually turn the tide in our favor. Where should I go? Where should I go? Two victory with all my heart. Two victory. If they're fully healed, let's get them away. Excuse me. 
I would like my standard bearer to stay alive since he is my only standard bearer. Really? Alright, Ptolemy's forces have secured his town the town center. Cleo still has a bunch of forces, but not infinite forces. So once we get our reinforcements, I think we'll be in a fantax fantastic position. Alright, everybody's healing up. We've got reinforcements coming in, and once they join the groups, we should be in great shape. I don't know where... Oh, her battleship's chilling over here. Even better. Now he's out of the way. One. Look how spread out they are, though. Two. Three. Fan. Oh, there's even a Centurion in that batch. Cool. Look at this. We've got a lot of our wounds healed. We only have a few more injured guys, and they're almost done healing. This is amazing. With this, we can definitely actually smash her. All right. All right. Group one. Group two, or group three. Group two. All right, Cle perfect timing. Cleo is counterattacking. Nice, and they're killing a lot of guys before we even got there. The only one who's injured at this point is Caesar. All right, we're securing the beachhead to the capital. Even better, hopefully Ptolemy is going to get reinforcements soon. Oh, this is, yeah. So now we have a siege workshop in Ptolemy's base. However, uh, while we might try to build some catapults to help us out, I will not make the same mistake I made last time, which was, oh, I just set a rally point inside the city. Ooh, no, it, yeah, although actually it looked like Cleo didn't have any troops outside. Either way, last time I built three catapults and two of them fucking died before they made it to the city. Here we go. Battle cry. Nice. Battle cry. And the battle cries should help us out. We are definitely demolishing them. We're getting accidental healing. Fantastic. We punched through this whole army. And now we're gonna take the capital. What the fuck? Where were you going? And it should flip. There it goes. Now belongs to Ptolemy. Now the last, the remaining attacks are gonna come across this little bridge. I don't need the catapults, per se, but I would love them because there are a couple towers in my way. Oh, that one got destroyed by Ptolemy when he broke through this gate, I guess. So there's one tower in the way. What are these explosions in the water? Is it like enough arrows are hitting to cause that effect? Weird. Oh, perfect! Ptolemy's actually even sending troops in, so my guys hopefully won't just get slaughtered. Alright, we're suffering some losses to our frontline dudes. 
All right, fuck it. Wow, we might just totally do this. Go ahead, Ptolemy, you deal with it. Wow, this is so fast. Wow, even though I suffered those early losses, man, was it worth to have early beachhead into the city. Bam. Alexandria has fallen to Caesar and Ptolemy's forces. Cleopatra has been brought before the, vo the boy Pharaoh, and Caesar is content to let him decide his sister's fate. Julius now makes ready to return to Rome to solidify his power over his new empire. So I think, historically, it's Cleopatra who he sided with. Um, but he brought me Pompey's head. And, uh, yeah, that, that seems better. And it, clearly, we need to, you know, he was ready to join the empire, too. Side note, uh, if you also, if you join Cleopatra, Ptolemy fucking attacks the pyramids. Which is bullshit. Uh, because, obviously, how are you supposed to defend that? But, yeah. Cool, we did it! Alright, faster than ever. Let's get on to the next campaign.